are you a student of class 12th and considering other options apart from the traditional engineering and medical courses you could also be someone who's taken a drop and is considering some career options after 12th but again not the traditional ones or you might actually be preparing for a joint entrance exam or a neat exam but having been through the preparation or having been halfway through the preparation you are unsure about whether you really want to do engineering or medical if you are any one of these categories stay with me for the next 15 20 minutes because we are going to talk about ipmat 2022 this is one exam which you can take after class 12th and which gives you an entry a passport to admission to one of the top or leading iims in india i am indore immediately after class 12th so welcome all of you my name is manish kane and in this session brought to you by pathfinder education services i am going to talk to you about ipmat 2022 exam so i'll cover points like what is ipm the degree what is the admission process to the IPM course? Who should be taking IPM entrance exams? If you're a commerce student, whether you should be opting for this course or not. So all these things we shall talk about in this video. Starting with what is IPM? So IPM stands for Integrated Program in Management. This course was launched for the first time by IIM Indore. So it was I am Indore's pioneering effort which, which uh, started this course in 2011. And since then, I am Indore has been conducting this course successfully for the last 10 years. And now that a few batches have graduated from I am Indore, I can say with confidence that the IPM course is as effective as the PGP course offered by the I am Indore. And the students have got placements on par with students who have taken CAT and taken admission to IIMs for the PGP program. And shortly I'll tell you why and how. But for now, IPM is Integrated Program in Management. It is a five-year course. In fact, it's a dual degree. So what does it mean? The first three years of this course gives you a degree called BA, Bachelor of Arts, with a foundation in management. And it's a very interesting mix of courses are there in this BA program, right from economics, mathematics and statistics to dance and music. I have not seen such mix of courses offered by any other institute. So first part, the BA degree. The second part is the PGP. PGP means students who complete the BA program are then made to sit with those students who have cleared CAT after graduation and have taken admission to the MBA program or the PGP program as, as it is more popularly known as. So IPM students are then made to sit for the last two years with the PGP graduates. And the last two years are identical for students who have taken CAT and taken admission to the PGP program and the students of IPM program. So the fourth and fifth year for IPM students and the CAT students is common. And that is why I said there is no difference as far as the course content is concerned and there is no difference as far as placement is concerned. The placement process is common and any company that comes to the campus of IIM Indore will offer the same position and the same salary to a student of PGP program that is somebody who's taken CAT and then taken admission to IIMs and somebody who has taken the IPMAT exam and joined the IPM program. So there is absolutely no difference. And it is far more advantageous to join the IPM program. Again, we will shortly know why these things are correct. So I know most of you would be wondering, why should we do an IPM program? Are there any benefits of doing the IPM program? Obviously, there are benefits. That's why around 150 students every year, they start the IPM program at IIM Indore. And around 18 20,000 students appear for the entrance exam. So what makes the IPM a very attractive career option? So IPM program leads you to a career in management. And you should know that management offers the widest possible range of jobs in a very wide range of sectors. So right from IT to construction, 
everybody needs managers who doesn't need managers and managers are generally highly paid in most companies so one the first reason why anybody should opt for the ipm program is you want to enter or you want to get into a career in management and that management is a great career option the second reason the starting salaries not many other courses in india can offer you starting salaries as good as the ipm for example if you look at the last 2 3 years data the mba graduates from iim indore they have been earning an average salary of around 18 to 20 lakhs and even during the pandemic the placements at iim were affected but even then the average salaries were around 18 to 20 lakhs so obviously great salaries at iims second reason another reason why you should look at iims and this is a reason which i find the most interesting one because there is no other way you can spend 5 years at iim either you can do a phd program and i'm sure none of you are thinking of phd at this juncture the second way is spend 5 years at an iim through the ipm curriculum now what is the importance of staying at such a place obviously iim is an institution of great eminence you will come across extraordinary people at iim campus and as somebody has said you don't become extraordinary by meeting ordinary people day after day you become extraordinary when you meet extraordinary people you get a chance to interact with who's who of india because they'll come for visiting sessions they'll come for as chief guests on various programs that are conducted on the campus and you have a chance to interact with such people through internships through workshops through seminars through discussions and so on so such mix of great people you can come across only at a top institute in india and obviously i am indore happens to be one of them then you come across great peer group so you will not only learn from people who come from outside you will learn equally from people who are around you you spend 24 hours with your batchmates with your classmates and many of them will teach you things which you cannot dream of you know learning elsewhere so you get a great peer group that peer group is going to be a part of your network 15 years from now very very important reason for doing the ipm the secondary reasons why anybody should look at ipm program if you are sure of taking an admission uh, if you are sure of getting into a management career then ipm is one gateway which offers you less competition if you take cat after graduation around 2.5 lakh people will appear for cat compare that with 18000 students who take the ipm at of i am indore every year for 150 seats around 800 to 900 students are shortlisted for the process and 150 people are selected finally you know as far as competition is concerned it's very easy to get into an ipm program as compared to the pgp program after passing or after clearing the cat the second secondary reason is that ipm is a very very flexible course so after 3 years if you don't like what you're learning or if you if you feel you want to go for other bigger challenges or other institutes like i am ahmedabad or maybe an mba abroad obviously you can take you can say bye bye to i am indore after 3 years and they'll still give you that ba degree in foundations in management imagine having a ba degree from i am indore on your bio data probably in class 12th you can't understand the importance of that brand on your bio data slowly you will realize next if you are planning to write the ipmat 2022 exam you can check out our courses on www.pathfinderforme.com we offer great courses for the ipmat entrance and some of the highlights are listed here live classes video lectures gk lectures recorded uh, practice tests mock tests mentorship pdf books and sheets and doubt classes all of them will be there but the highlight is our teachers 
we offer you one of the best set of teachers you can get for IPM entrance preparation. For more details, you can just WhatsApp IPMAT to this number 93439-21347. Moving on, now I'd like to talk about the IPMAT entrance exam. What is this entrance exam like? But first, you ought to know that there are three different exams being held for admission to IPM entrance, oh, sorry, for admission to IPM. So, IPMAT by IIM Indore. This exam is held for admissions to IIM Indore and IIM Rachi. Then IPMAT by IIM Rohtak for admissions to IIM Rohtak. And then we have JIPMAT which is conducted by the National Testing Agency NTA for admissions to IIM Jammu and IIM Bodhgaya. I really hope there is some rationalization happening on that front. But at least there is no news to that effect so far. So as of now we will have to consider that there are three different exams IPMAT by IIM Indore, IPMAT by IIM Rohtak and JIPMAT by the National Testing Agency. In this video, I will be primarily focusing on the IPMAT exam of IIM Indore. So IPMAT stands for IPM Aptitude Test. Let's take a look at some of the highlights of the IIM Indore admission process for the IPM program. Obviously, the admission process is in two stages. The first stage is the written exam and the second stage is personal interview. Now, you have to understand that unlike your admissions to NEET or to JE or to NITs and IITs which are solely dependent on your scores of the written test, IPM admissions are not dependent only on your written scores. So you'll have a written test and you'll have a personal interview and both will have different weightages. For example, the written exam 65% of weightage is given and for the personal interview 35% of weightage is given. They would like to assess your suitability for a career in management. So management professionals need a well-rounded personality and through the PI they'll try to they'll try to assess you on your suitability for the management program. So they can ask you all kinds of questions during the interview. Again I'll create another video for the personal interview process but they can ask you questions related to your academics related to your hobbies, related to current affairs, related to absolutely anything which they find relevant to your bio data or relevant to your case. The written, as far as the written exam is concerned, the duration of written exam was reduced this year, obviously due to the pandemic. Earlier on, it, it used to be for two hours, but this year, even in the last year, it was for 1.5 hours. And there were three sections, the quantitative aptitude section, the short answer type, where there were no options, you had to key in the answer. Then there is another quantitative aptitude section of the MCQ, multiple choice kinds. And then you have an English ability section, uh, which is again all multiple choice questions. So There are 60 questions in all, 240 marks, plus 4 and minus 1. As far as now is concerned, you have to assume that this should be the sectional breakup next year also. Unless and until I am Indore announces to the contrary. But pandemic continue raha, to yehi pattern hoga. Pandemic continue nahi hua aur cheeze normalize ho gai, to shayad pattern badal sakta hai. Agar badlega to obviously I will come back to you with the revised pattern. But for now, and looking at the last two years, this has been the pattern. You get plus four marks for every right answer. And if you answer a question wrongly, then you are penalized to the extent of one mark. So minus one for every wrong answer. Moving on. Now this is the sectional breaker. You can see exam pattern. There is a QA MCQ question which has 20 questions out of 60. And the total marks are 80 and there is a sectional time limit of 0.5 hours. So you have only 30 minutes to answer this question. Sorry, this section. Then the next section is quantitative ability section of short answer types. Now here there are no options given. You have to key in the answer using the keyboard. 
there are 10 questions of this type for 40 marks again the total time limit for this segment is also 0.5 hours and then you have English ability section for 30, 30 questions 120 marks again 0.5 hours so all in all you have 60 questions 240 marks 1.5 hours that's it 1.5 hours of testing so this year and if you look at the average for the last two three years 18,000 students roughly appeared for the test around 800 were shortlisted for 150 seats this is raw data next year it might be different you know if things normalize this 18k could very well be 25k who knows <laughs> moving on let us look at the syllabus and this syllabus is important because I receive a lot of query especially from people who do not have a background in maths students who have not taken maths in 11th and 12th for them it is important to know and understand this pattern because if you want to start preparing you need to know padna kya hai. so here is the syllabus now is this syllabus defined by koi definition koi defined syllabus nahi hota hai. no competitive exam will define the syllabus for you it's basically whatever you've learned in the last 17 18 19 years of schooling that will be tested in some way so be sure of this but based on our experience based on my experience with the pattern of IP mat entrance exam of IIM Indore this is what I have seen appear appearing regularly especially in the last three four years so what has appeared average so if you look at arithmetic you have average percentage ratio profits and interest time and work time and distance now this is important for you because if you have not taken up maths in 11th and 12th you might wonder ki bhai itna sara course to maine padha hi nahi hai to aapke liye janna zaruri hai ki is area mein se kareeb kareeb 40% questions aayenge 40 to 45% of questions they come from arithmetic one way or the other and rest of the areas you are not expected to prepare at the jee level even a basic textbook level preparation for the rest of the areas is more than sufficient. So you have geometry mensuration again at the class 10th level. You have trigonometry also which is again of the class 10th level only. Nothing more. You have algebra equations, quadratic, linear and polynomial sets, arithmetic and geometric progression. You also have functions and graphs. You have permutation, combination, probability. You will have matrices and determinants. You will have very basic coordinate geometry. Now, these are the topics which have been included of late in the last three four years and why you must know this because you need to know preparation karna kya kya hai. so 35 to 40 percent of questions they will appear from arithmetic the rest of the questions will appear from the other areas now if you are someone who is not very comfortable doing permutation combinations you can simply ignore this because other areas are there from where you will get around 85-90% of the questions and trust me permutation combination is not rocket science the level at which the questions are expected in IPM is very very elementary so there is absolutely no fear if you've been a commerce student and if you've taken maths in class 10th and even if you've done average on maths in class 10th you can prepare for the IPM quantitative aptitude section Obviously, that's where institutes like ours comes into picture. We help students prepare for this, this, these kind of sections. And trust me, what are the cutoffs? Having told you about the sections, the cutoff in quantitative aptitude, can you, can you guess? The cutoffs are 40%. For the short answer type questions, only 4 out of 10 questions if you answer, you clear the cutoffs. In multiple choice questions, if you answer around 5-6 questions out of 20, you clear the cutoffs. So there is absolutely no need for you to panic or to get psyched out just because of mathematics. Mathematics is only half of the story. The remaining half of the story is English. And there is one more interesting section which I will talk about shortly. What do they cover in English? Vocabulary, synonyms, antonyms, idioms and phrases, word usage, spellings, close tests is like fill in the blanks only, nothing different. 
Then you have reading comprehension, para jumbles and para summaries. Now those of you who come from English medium CBSE schools, they must have done some reading comprehension at the school level. This reading comprehension is not of the same level. Don't expect factual questions. All the questions will not be factual. There will be some questions which require proper comprehension and which also requires critical thinking. Then you can have questions based on grammar, parts of speech, voice, modifiers and correctives. So this is what is being asked in the English section. The cutoff in English section is close to 65% if you look at the last 2-3 years. 65% out of 100% for English specifically. <clears throat> then this year there was a surprise. As a part of the quantitative aptitude section, IPM, IPMAT also had some one question on tables, graphs, bar charts and pie graphs. But this year they surprised everybody by giving a logic caselet. This logic caselet was on games and tournaments and many students who had no exposure to such caselets obviously were not able to come to terms with that caselet during the exam. So at Pathfinder from this year onwards we have introduced a special segment on logic based caselets of data interpretation. So there was only one caselet of five questions but in a segment where five questions are cut off this caselet alone could be make or break for somebody who is weak in mathematics. Right? So this is in very brief about the syllabus of IPM entrance exam. I'll make another video for the detailed syllabus and some sample questions which have appeared in the IPM exam in the last 2-3 years which will give a clearer picture. But for now if you are planning to start this should suffice. This is sufficient. More than sufficient in fact. Cutoffs. I have already told you cutoffs. Now this is not cutoff of last year. This is cutoff of the last 3-4 years. Average of cutoffs of last 3-4 years. Now why am I giving you average? Because cutoffs will vary every year. But you need to know what is the range of that those cutoffs. So quantitative aptitude, short answer type, 40%, around 40%, plus minus 5. So 4 out of 10 questions and you are you're okay, you're fine. Then quantitative aptitude, the short answer type, only 40% only of the questions and you're, you're through. If you can solve 4 out of 10 questions correctly, you're done, you're through. Quantitative aptitude, the MCQ types, only 25% of 5 questions. And the English language, around 55 to 65 percent. Now these are indicative cutoffs for anybody who wants to prepare a strategy for IPMAT 2022 exam. Next, if you have any more questions or any more queries regarding IPMAT 2022, you can always ask your questions in the comment section of this video or you can WhatsApp your questions on 9343921347 and if you have any suggestions for us or any other queries or any other specific areas on which we should make videos please feel free to give your suggestions in the comment section and please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel Pathfinder for me. We'll bring you many more interesting videos related to exam preparation. Thank you for now. All the best.